Welcome back to SnowRunner, and I want to start by bringing these three trucks back to the garage. So let me start up the first set and bring them back to the garage so that we can start exploring maybe Island Lake afterwards. All right, well, as we are approaching the garage with our final our final truck, you can see that the other two are already here. Um, yeah, I brought everything over. Uh, the trailer's right over there. Stored it nicely. And just put everything in place. So first of all, I want to move the Scout 800 to replenish all the supplies, then the International Grandstar to fix that one, and then this empty slot is for the Pacific P-16. Oh, first of all, before we're going into any uh, any of the any of the new locations in Island Lake, because that's what I want to go and explore. I want to explore. Uh, I want to explore this truck see what's what's going on with it so we only have one set of tires uh, no no air filter snorkels saddle high and log carrier all right we only get a sun visor uh, front bumper reinforced which could be beneficial the heavy duty will be beneficial. Not the hinged, but this reinforced one will be beneficial because it's a little bit higher than the or than the basic one, stock one. Exhaust wedge cap. Do I like the wedge cap? No, I do not at this with this truck. I like the muzzle for it, but yeah. Not worth the money. Uh, the color, color, color. Orange and black. Red and white and black. Green. Blue. I really do like that this one cap is open. You know, this, this one cap. What, what do you call it? The compartment cap slider because it shows the engine working and you can even see the the fan spin when when the truck's really working i think i'm going for the orange and black um yeah and then accessories don't think i'm really going to all right so i've stickered up <laughs> the cab already uh, quickly did it in between. Um, I said I'm not going to bother, but you know, eh, can't have me not. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put it to the off road warden windshield. Um, no, no, drive is life, tribal. I like the tribal one. Bottom. Mud up or shut up. I'm going to go for a hood ornament. Now these ones are when you complete trials. And certain trials, I think. No, you have to complete four trials. But is it worth it? Eh, don't think so. I do like the horns though. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to bother just yet. Alright, so we don't really have a lot to do with the Pacific P-16. Um, and going to Island Lake, I don't think this is going to be enough. Um, I would like to bring it, 
Um, but I do prefer to bring. Um, do you have a spare wheel? No, do not. Do you have gearbox? I do have off-road gearbox. Um, but should we use this one or this one? I'm just going to use the Fleet Star because it it basically already drove that part. Yeah, I'm going to give you this gearbox. What's it going to cost for the Western Star gearbox? It's expensive. Uh, yeah, you have all-wheel drive, but no diff lock, right? It's capable for diff lock, but it doesn't have diff lock. So then, yeah, the Fleet Star is more capable. Um, I'm going to swap out the sideboard bed for the fuel tank. Take that, and you take the fuel tank, and we are still capable of towing, exactly. Are we going to stay with this color? Yes, we are. All right, let me set this up first. All right, we're all set. Activate the ramp. And this should be us ready to go. I'm going to be using this road, I think, to go back up here. And then this way. Or should I go straight here and then use this tiny road to get onto here? Onto the island. I think I'm going to get onto the island. I think that's going to be an easier road for us. But first, but first, before we go, just make sure that it's morning. And that also helps with the weather, apparently, currently. So I'm happy about that. And let's get going towards Island Lake. Come on, there's a Transtar out there, in there, that's more capable than you are currently. That's more promising here. You should be able to do this. slowly roll down because it's also a trailer that's <laughs> toying behind you now our way back is not going to be the same I don't think uh, this truck is or both trucks are going to be capable of pulling themselves up here But going down should be capable of doing it. No, don't go into a rock. Don't be going into a rock. Why do I turn on diff lock if diff lock is not diff locking? Ah. 
Alright, we should be going this way. And this should be a fine road to be going. Why does it sound like the engine is doing a lot, but it's not? It even looks like it's doing a lot by the fuel consumption, but it's not. It's not doing anything. Come on. You gotta be playing with me, man. Stop playing. As if there's a handbrake on, you know? <laughs> Alright, then we're going into low plus. At least we got enough fuel with us. Jesus. Is that fuel consumption ain't no joke. Alright. We need to slow her down. By a lot. <laughs> But this is the hardest part of the journey, as far as I'm concerned. Getting through this. Now we need to reach the other side. Don't be flipping over. That's just my only concern currently. Alright. We should be golden. We have at least passed <laughs> the hard part. And now it's on to finding that Oh, so important back road that we need to have. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Into the mud here. We are not sinking in too deep. Um, we are going to be passing. Excuse you. There. There there and in there why does it look like this engine is not up for the task I'm using all-wheel drive even. I mean, come on. Either that was really deep, or this truck really sucks, and the Transtar is a lot better than this. So much better that it's able to do this without diff lock and or will drive and this one isn't capable of doing it it's dragging itself into the mud every time no jokes and finally we're moving jeepers creepers come on don't fall back into your previous habits oh come on I think I'm even going to empty the fuel tank before I get there. At this rate. Why is it raining again? Is this such a rainy... Rainy state? I thought Michigan was... 
Okay, it's not given that it's not the sunshine state. I mean, I get that. Well, that went uh, according to plan, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't like this truck anymore. I can't access the Scout 800 to help and rescue. Um, so I'm going to have to... Get back to the garage. Get this white western star to help out, you know? Um, well, I say you know, but, you know... <laughs> just easy to say it's an easy stop word I think as you can see this one uh, also struggles a little bit getting through it but as soon as you turn on diff lock or all wheel drive it'll blast right through it I think I made the wrong uh, the wrong choice of trucks to take on the journey I'm going to be honest I am going to take that fleet star back home and switch it out for the trans star I think or for the white western star I think white western star even because it's a lot better of a truck And that trend star is bringing me nothing but headaches in this in this drive. Um, whereas the the white western star is not really giving me any bother so far. I provided it's not as heavily loaded, but seeing as the ease that it's getting through everything. It's more about the level of ease than anything else. And it's not even... It doesn't even have a diff lock, you know? That's the worst part that bothers me the most. It doesn't even have diff lock. And the diff lock is the part that sold me on using the fleet star as opposed to the white western star. Let's try and get through here. Let's try not to hurt, hurt the engine as much anymore. Please, come on. Did not accept that one yet. Uh, where are you? There you are. Let's see if we can get our nose in somewhere to pull it out. Pull it back on its wheels. This on the Fleet Star, it's not. Where is it? Can't see. Oh, it is. Alright, now we finally got our loose. Kind of. At least in a position where we can work with it. Do note, it's already night. I've been working through the day to just flip this darn truck. And I know it's a fuel tanker, so it doesn't really have... It's not really easy to flip, and it doesn't have a whole lot. Come on, flip over. Roll onto your back like a freaking turtle. 
Okay, okay, then I'm going to approach it from the other side. I hope that's going to be enough. How much distance can I get away with it? That's enough. It's perfectly good. Hi. Even in high gear, it doesn't. Jesus. Now this looks like quite, likes quite a... Jesus, talking is going to be an issue as well. This looks like quite a run-up. There we go, the furthest away that we can get it. Well, at least I can use the fuel tank, the fuel tank to refuel. It wants to, but it can't. Because it's too darn heavy. Come on, come on. Yeah, gotcha. No, 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 no. Dang it. Well, at least we have a strategy now. Let me fix this and get her done. Finally, we have turned her over. It's 9.51 at night. We have finally turned her over. Sorry about your yard, though. Alright, let's get these two trucks back to the garage and swapped over. I mean, you, um, I will bring you quickly to the floor here uh, you you oh you're the one weighing down everything huh don't tell me I need the Pacific P16 for this there that's where I want the trailer for now now we can bring the two trucks back to the garage to swap them over. So that means, now that I'm free, I will see you there. And I have both of them in location. And don't think I'm bringing the Western Star first. I'm not stupid. Fleet Star goes first. Because that's one drama truck. Yeah, you go and do the drive of shame. She's about to tip again. Dodgy. God, mother. So after hours and hours and hours of trying, <laughs> in-game hours that is, I mean I think I've been on this for about half an hour, I'm not going to risk it anymore by dr just driving the Fleet Star, I'm just going to pull it with the, f the White Western Star, keep it on my toe, keep it on my tail, and just keep driving. Come on. Help me out of here, man. Uh, dude, really. If you're going to bog me down that much, I'm just gonna sell you. There we go. 
finally we're moving all right let's get us back to the garage now and when it flips over yet again I will bring you back so that you can see however I have to deal with it That's the least capable one. Uh, let's start by taking this off because you don't deserve it. And the white western star, let's get you back. the second one uh, let put you take you off um, you'll get flatbed I'm going to put the fuel tank back onto you because I want to see what she's going to do I will try that out in between episodes then uh, in the beginning of the next episode you will see if this one or this one you know what? Actually, I'm going to do that in the next up in the, in the next episode because I'm quite sure that you guys want to see what's going to happen if I take that trans star down that route and into the mud and into the dirt and everything. What's going to happen with it? Quite sure you guys are interested in that. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you will have a fantastic weekend and a fantastic rest of your day if you're still working of course never forget stay positive stay strong peace out